everybody, it's Rob here uh, back from Intrigue. We've got uh, tip number eight of 100 tips in 100 days, all about putting teeth into our purpose at Intrigue, which is empowering leaders to trade the community. So hopefully you can get a tip out of this to maybe run a you know more effective business, maybe a bit more efficiently, become a better leader, uh, and kind of strengthen the communities that you work and operate in every day. And, and the, the essence of all this is essentially a decade plus of scar tissue. So I figure we share some learnings that we had that we kind of wish we knew when we had started, um, or even wish I had known five years ago, and, and hopefully it'll help you get to where you want to go a little bit faster. So this one is uh, a kind of a universal tip. Um, essentially, every business has three types of clients. A clients, B clients, and C clients. And so the whole idea here is that A clients are like awesome clients. These are the ones that love your stuff, they, they, they don't uh, bat an eye at paying the, for the value of what they receive. Um, they smile when they see you, they refer you to other people. Um, it's a really great experience. Then there's the C clients, these are complainers. These people essentially suck the life and energy out of not only your company, but yourself every single time you interact with them. They're always negotiating, they pay late, they can never be happy. You typically do more for them to try to break your back to make them happy and it never works. And it's just a bad experience for everybody. You feel like you've done more than you've been paid for. They feel like they're not getting their needs met. It's just not a good solid relationship. Then there's B clients. B clients have the potential to become A clients. So they may not be exactly where you want them to be quite yet, but they've got opportunity, they're great to work with and we want to just move them into an A-client status. That means different things for different businesses. But here's the counterintuitive approach that I wanted to share with you that took us forever to figure out. For every C-client you decide to work with, because essentially when you're starting to grow, if someone's got a heartbeat and a check, it's probably a good customer. But this is a trap. And so the whole idea is that every C-client you work with, you're missing the opportunity to work with maybe five Bs or 10 As, because they're just a lot easier to manage. And C-clients, just suck. So we get, we get, but we get romanced by money when we're all trying to grow and we need to, you know, fill up our top line and, and make payroll and all that kind of stuff. And we get seduced to then grab that check and work with that C client, even though our spider senses are tingling. And so today's tip is all about just do whatever you can to just avoid making that decision because every time you do, not only does it drain you and your company and is an attraction, it sucks the life and energy away from you being able to service your B and A clients. And the thing that you want to remember is if they're a headache working with you, they're going to be a headache with whoever they work with. So why not let them be your competitor's headache? So that's tip number eight of 100 business tips in 100 days. I hope it helps all the A, B, and C clients. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.